If we wanted to find the cosine of 120 degrees, here's what we'd do. We'd put it in standard position. We'd figure out that the reference angle is 60 degrees, making the reference triangle a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And we label the sides. And then we use that 60 degree angle for reference, this angle right here. And the cosine is adjacent leg over hypotenuse, so negative one half. But what if we wanted the cosine of, say, 90 degrees? We'd have to do something a little different because when we find where 90 degrees terminates, we don't really have a reference angle there. Okay? So we have to do things a little different. This is the unit circle. It's called the unit circle because the radius of this circle is one unit. Okay? This point right here is the point zero, zero. And let's talk about this point right there. We're going to say that any point on the unit circle can be represented like this, x, y. Okay? Now, what this means is the length of this segment is x, and the length of this segment is y. X is the X coordinate of that point. Y is the Y coordinate of that point. So now, let's see if we can figure out what the cosine of that angle theta is. Cosine is the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. So X over 1. X divided by 1 is X. How about the sine of theta? Let's find the sine of theta. The sine of theta is the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. Y over 1. Y divided by 1 is y. Let's find the tangent of theta. The tangent is the opposite leg over the adjacent leg, y over x. Now, we also know that y is the sine of theta and x is the cosine of theta. Now, these three things right here, those things need to be in your notes, okay? Get that in your notes. When you have that in your notes, put your pencil down for a moment. You might even need to, uh, to pause the video and then come back. Okay, get that in your notes. Now put your pencils down, check this out. So what this is telling us is that the X coordinate of any point on the unit circle is the cosine of the angle that terminates there. All right. The y coordinate of any point on the unit circle is the sine of any angle that terminates there. Okay? Let's take a look at some examples. You'll notice that I have some points on this, uh, in our diagram here, that I didn't label. Let's talk about what these points are. This point right here. So on the unit circle, the radius is still 1, so that point is 1, 0. Remember that the uh, always the x-axis, uh, x-coordinate uh, first, okay? x-coordinate first, x-coordinate comma y-coordinate. So this point right here is 0, 1. This point right here is negative 1, 0. And this point right here, down on the uh, y-axis there, that is 0, negative 1. And here's how we're going to use this information. Remember I asked you what the cosine of 90 was? Now we're going to be able to figure this out. Okay? And it's easy once you have a couple things memorized. Okay? So you figure out where 90 degrees terminates, and it terminates right here. And so we look at this point, and we remember that the x-coordinate is the cosine and the y-coordinate is the sine. So the cosine of 90 degrees is 0. And the sine of 90 degrees is 1. That's the y-coordinate. Now let's find the tangent of 90 degrees. The tangent of 90 degrees is sine over cosine. Why? Because it's y over x. Y is the sine, x is the, the cosine, sine over cosine. Okay, sine over cosine. Sine is 1, cosine is 0. And then we realize, well, wait a sec, you can't do that. That is not defined, that doesn't exist. So you can either say that does not exist, or a lot of times I will abbreviate 
undefined. UND. University of North Dakota. Go Fighting Hawks. Now let's take a look at a couple more examples. How about the sine, cosine, and tangent of 180 degrees? So we figure out where it terminates. We realize it terminates not in one of our quadrants. If it did, we would draw our reference triangle, right? And we'd label that weird way, and, and we'd go from there. But this lands right here. And on the unit circle, that point is negative 1, 0, okay? And so we remember that the x-coordinate is the cosine, and the y-coordinate is the sine. And we also know that the tangent is sine over cosine. Okay? So the tangent of 180 degrees is the sine of 180 degrees, 0, right, over the cosine. 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So now we know the sine, cosine, and tangent. What if we wanted their reciprocals? Okay, how about the secant of 180 degrees? Okay, well remember that the reciprocal means 1 over, right? And so the, the secant of 180 degrees is the reciprocal of cosine. The cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. So the, uh, the secant is the reciprocal of cosine. And so reciprocal, that's 1 over. 1 over negative 1, well, that's negative 1. How about the cosecant of 180 degrees? Cosecant is 1 over the sine. Well, 1 over sine is, uh, sine is 0. So 1 over sine doesn't exist. And we would just say that that is undefined. So here we go. Secant of 360. We figure out where this is. 360 degrees terminates right there on the x-axis. And on the unit circle, that point is 1, 0. Okay? And remember, that is the cosine, right? Got a little bit of memorizing to do. Cosine, sine. In fact, somewhere in your notes, you probably want to put cosine comma sine as a point and circle that okay cosine sine cosine of of 360 cosine is one sine of 360 zero and it's also the the sine cosine whatever of uh, of anything that terminates there right in other words uh, zero degrees. The cosine of zero degrees is one. The cosine of 360 degrees is one. The cos the cosine of 360 times 2, so 720, right? Cosine of 720 is 1. The sine of 720 degrees, 0, right? Anything that terminates there. Let's find the secant. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So 1 over 1, that's 1. Let's do another one. Let's find the cotangent of 270 degrees. 270 degrees terminates right here on the unit circle. That's the point 0 negative 1. Remember, the x-coordinate is the cosine and the y-coordinate is the sine. The tangent is sine over cosine. The cotangent is the reciprocal of that, right? 1 over tangent. But the tangent is sine over cosine, so the cotangent is cosine over sine. So cosine over sine. Well, 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. 